Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for you here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over how to animate a logo in Adobe Muse uh, using the Muse Motion 2 widget found at museforyoushop.com. So I'll go ahead and go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And here we can see we have the, the logo animating. And then it all comes together and it says click. So I decided to use the the name click for this sample website. So I'll refresh it to see it again. And there it is. So I'm gonna go over this fairly quickly uh, to keep it, I'm gonna try to keep it under five minutes. So I'll go ahead and jump right into uh, to creating this animation. And right behind here, we're using the ultimate video widget 2.0. And I'll add that at the end of this uh, tutorial as well. So I'll go ahead and begin. So I downloaded a an image or a logo from Adobe Stock. So here's the image, so I'll double click and I'll go ahead and say update and I'll say yes here. And I'll close this because we don't need the fonts here. It just said that it couldn't find the fonts. So here is the logo. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is change the colors for, for these different sections. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead into Adobe Muse. I'll go to file, new site. I'll click okay, I'll double click on the home page. And then I have a few colors from the, the uh, CC libraries that I'd like to use. So I'll just open this here and I'll go ahead and create a rectangle just so we can use those colors. And I'll say this color here, I'll go to the drop down and copy this color here. Uh, so here in Illustrator, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, ungroup, and I'll select these three. I'll make these white, just like that. So all I'm doing right now is changing the color. Um, so it's not anything huge. So there I've changed it to that color. I'll go into Muse and now I want to use this color. So let me grab that hex code there, go into Illustrator and I'll change the color for these. Okay, so there I've changed the color for all of the sections. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to group, actually I'll delete this background here, but I'm going to group these elements. So I'll right click and group and then Actually, I'll move this over to the to the left there. Um, I'm going to create a perfect square. So I'll select the rectangle tool here and I'll hold down shift and create a perfect square uh, just like that. And then I'll center both of these in, on the artboard. So I'll select the align tool and I'll center both of these. So the reason I created that transparent square is because I wanted a perfect square so that when these elements rotate, they'll all rotate evenly. Um, and that'll make, make more sense as I'm going through this video tutorial. Um, so there I have the, the, the transparent square um, and the different colors for the logo. So the next thing I'm going to do is copy the, the different elements here into Adobe Muse. So I'll select the transparent square, I'll hold down shift and select, and actually I want to ungroup this first. There we go, so they're all separate here. And I'll select the transparent square, hold down shift and select this first element here. I'll say command C to copy. I'll go into Muse and let me delete this blue, blue circle. I'll paste and then we have the first element. Then I'll go back into Illustrator. I'll uncheck this one, I'll copy this one, and go into Muse and Paste. So as you can see, I'm layering all of these different elements on top of each other, just like so. And having that transparent rectangle makes it easy to align all of the elements together. Okay, so this video might be longer than five minutes, but uh, I think it's kind of a cool video, so I wanted to, to showcase it. All right, let me grab this one here. And actually I grabbed two elements there, so let me uncheck this one. And yeah, let me delete this last one here. Go to Illustrator, there we go. And I'll put that one right there, perfect. And paste again. And there it is. Then uncheck this one, check this one. Or actually, let me grab this one here. Copy, paste, and I'll place that right in there. And then I'll grab this one, uncheck this one, copy, paste, right in there. And then we have this one. And I'll paste. And then one more, just like that. 
Okay, so there we have the, the logo. Um, and we do have some white here, so I might for now, just so we can see all of the different elements, I'll just add a rectangle and we'll bring it to the back and we'll color it, uh, we'll just say this kind of green color here. It's not that great looking. There, we'll, have, we'll use the green there. Okay, so there we have the logo and let me lock this rectangle in the back. So I'll um, go to lock. So we just can select these elements here. So the next thing I'm going to do is assign a graphic style name motion one through nine for each of these elements. So I'll click on the element, I'll open my layers panel. So here I have my layers panel and I want to open my graphic styles panel as well. Um, if you don't see the graphic styles panel, you can go to window and select graphic styles. So here I'll select the first image down here. I'll go to my graphic styles, create a new graphic style by creating a new style from the attributes applied. I'll double click and I'll say motion one. Then I'll go to the next one, create a new graphic style, motion two. The next one, new graphic style, motion three. The next one, new graphic style, motion, motion four. Next one, new graphic style, motion five. The next one, motion six. Then the next one, motion seven, next one here, motion eight, and one more here, motion nine. Okay, so there we've assigned a graphic style name to all of the different elements from the logo. So now I'll go into my library panel, and I'll type in MM2, which is short for Muse Motion 2, and I'll bring in the add first. So I'll place it at the top here, the add first widget, and then I'm going to create a sequence. So I'll bring in the Muse Motion 2 uh, 2D sequence. So I'll click, hold, and drag, and place onto my Adobe Muse website. All right, looks good. So there we have the, the Muse Motion 2 widget, and the widget we're going to work with a lot is the middle widget because we're going to copy and paste this widget to assign an animation to the different elements, uh, to the nine different elements we have here. So I'll bring the the end widget. So this is the beginning, the middle, and the end. So all the middle widgets have to be between the beginning and the end widget. So here I'll open up the first one, and it has the graphic style name Motion 1. Um, and the duration I'm going to change to 6. And then I'm going to enable rotate, and I'm going to use variations of uh, rotations or rotation values like 360, 720, 1080, and so on. So I'll say for this first one, I'll say 720. Yeah, 720. And then I'll copy this widget, paste, and I'll say I'll say 360. And then for the offset amount, I'm going to say 6, and I'm going to set the offset earlier so that they all start at the same time. So this offset is very important because what would happen if it didn't have an offset is that it, this element would wait 6 seconds before, um, or it would animate after the first element played. So after six seconds, this element would play, but I want them to all start at the same time. So I'm giving it an offset of six. So it starts at the same time as this element here. So I'll copy this one and I'll just change the, the 360 value. So here I'll say 1080 and I'll say, okay, so that's all set. I'll just change the graphic style name. I wanna make sure that the graphic style names for each of them are different, so like motion one through nine. And I'll paste this, and we'll say motion four, and we can give it a negative value as well, so it rotates the other way. And let me bring this down here, and then I'll paste again, motion five, and we'll say negative 720, and I'll paste again, motion six, and we'll say here 1440, and looks good. I'll paste again, motion seven, and let's bring this down here. I can move this up a little bit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, motion seven, and I'll just say negative 360, motion eight, and we'll do We'll do just 360 and then motion nine. Motion nine and we'll do 
720. Okay, so there we've added a rotation effect to all of the different elements. So now if I preview in the browser, go to file preview page in browser, we can see we have the rotating animation here and it all comes together at the end. So it is going backwards um, and that is because here in the first widget, we have the repeat set to negative one so it'll infinitely repeat. Um, and then we have enable reverse play selected. So I don't want that selected. So we just uncheck it and now it'll play once and then it will stop. All right, looks good. So there we have that animating logo. Okay, so now I'm going to add the word click in here. So I'll just select the text tool. I'll create a text box and I'll type in L I Q E. Yep. And then I'll change the font. We'll say Lotto, say 72 and I'll change the color to this darker blue here. Looks good. All right, so there we have the word click and I'll place it right there in the middle. And actually, let me make sure that these are all centered. There we go. I'll put click right here and then I'll give the this text click a graphic style name. So I'll say motion, motion 10. And then I'll just copy the widget here. So I'll copy and paste and I'll place it right here at the bottom. And then here for the graphic style name, I'll say motion 10, and then I'll uncheck any animation. So I'll, un I'll uncheck enable rotate, so it just fades in. So I'll go to file preview page in browser, and yeah, we had it start at the same time. So we want it to start with no offset. So I'll set the offset to zero. So after six seconds, it comes in. So there we see it. it's not there, but all of these came in at the same time because they, they all have the same offset. And then the word click comes in. Perfect, and it is a little bit slow, so I'm gonna change the duration to two seconds. And then I'll bring in the font smoother, so we have some nice smooth font. All right, I'll put this right up here, and we'll preview one more time in here. There's the animating logo and click perfect so that's how we animate the logo with the Muse motion 2 widget and i'll just add a video here in the background just for fun so i'm going to go to object unlock all on page so we can select this rectangle and i'll go to fill add image and i'll select this poster image because that's the video that i want to add and then i'll bring in the ultimate video widget so i'll type in uvw i'll bring in the add first widget right in here and I'll bring in the UVW video because I'm going to add a video uh, to that rectangle. So here I'll select this rectangle and I want to give it the graphic style name video one because that's the graphic style name here in the ultimate video widget. So I'll click on the rectangle, go to my graphic styles panel and say video one there. And then I'll go in here and I'll add those videos. So MP4, uh, WebM and uh, .ogv or .ogg, um, OGV is for video, but they're they're pretty much the same. Um, and if you did want to watch the video on the Ultimate Video Widget, you could uh, check out the video on my YouTube channel on how to use the Ultimate Video Widget. Uh, but that's basically it, just add the video files, uh, set the poster image in the rectangle, and assign the graphic style name here uh, to the rectangle. And then for the overlay, I'm gonna set the overlay to white, and I'm gonna add the overlay opacity to say 0.5. Okay, so if I go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, there we have an over, a white overlay. There the logo animates, and we see it says click. Uh, so that's it for creating an, or animating a logo in Adobe Muse with the Muse Motion 2 widget found at museforyoushop.com. We also use the Ultimate Video widget um, as well, the Ultimate Video widget 2.0 and we used Illustrator to copy the, the SVGs from Illustrator into Adobe Muse, and then we assigned the graphic style names, um, yeah, the graphic style names to these elements, all right? And it is pasted in as scalable vector graphics, um, so you could, and let me just lock this here, you could make this logo as small, as big or small as you'd like, and it would retain its proportions. So here, let me lock this, I'll select, yeah, I'll lock this too. I'll select this here and I'll say 200 by 200. And we could essentially move this anywhere. So 
So we can see we made it smaller and it still looks good right in there. Perfect. And we can make the text smaller. If I unlock it here, and we'll make the text smaller in here. So we'll say 30. Or maybe it was 36. No, 30. All right. So you could have a nice little logo in the corner. Yeah, just like that. I'll move this in a little bit. All right. So there we go. We have the logo and it says click. So that's another variation of it. You could make it smaller and put it on your website and have a nice little animating logo on your website. So here I'll, I'll make it uh, bigger again just to showcase that one more time. So here we select them all and I'll say uh, 450. So we'll make it really big just for fun. And here I'll change the text size as well. And I'll say 72. Yep, there we go. Click. Let me center this right in there. Perfect. And I'll bring this in. All right, just like that. That looks good. Okay, so I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And there we go. Looks good. All right, so that's animating a logo in Adobe Muse with the Muse Motion 2 widget. And we also added video with the Ultimate Video Widget 2.0. So to get access to the Muse Motion 2 widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com. And here you can click on the pop-up. And here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Here is the Muse Motion 2 widget, and here's the Ultimate Video Widget 2.0. So if I click on the Muse Motion widget, uh, if you did want to purchase individually, you can click Add to Cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. And here there's more info information about the widget and videos and preview pages as well. Um, the same for the Ultimate Video widget uh, there as well. Uh, so that's it for this quick tip. I know it wasn't that quick, so I might not actually make it a quick tip, but just uh, post it as a video. So we'll see how that goes, but I think it might be uh, too long to be a quick tip. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.